Welcome back to Desert Days. I am your host, Kathy Blaze. And today we are here with the fabulous Chiro Giorgio. Yes. And his wife, Jana Franco. Welcome. Such a pleasure to have you both here with us today. So I hear that you guys are going back to Italy. No, sometime soon. <laughs> the first year is going to be doing some performances in Chicago and New York, which is where he's done them many times before in Atlantic City. Wonderful, right. wonderful. So. You know, Mr. Chiro, I mean, I don't even know what to say about him. I mean, he's done a little bit of everything. But I want to go back to little Chiro when he yeah. was a child. Um, you performed in the... Um, with your father, Teatro. with your father, in a production yeah. with your father. How was that experience for you? Ah, è stato una favola, un, un, come un sogno, e poi un, come un gioco. Ero un ragazzo, avevo solo dieci anni quando ho iniziato. When he started out working with his father in theater, uh -huh. uh, when he was like 10 years old, and then about 15, so then he started doing movies, including like with uh, Toto, who's the most beloved Italian actor. Wow. Uh, Operation San Gennaro. Uh, yeah. You know, started in that and it's just been, and many, many films um, in Italy and a couple here. Wonderful. And so that was, in fact, there's a photo of him when he's two years old well, in a Puccinella costume. What was that production like working with your father? I mean, did you guys work together or were you separate, separate roles? Um, I mean, just... I mean, how was that production for you working with your father? No, no. Avevo un ruolo separato nella commedia, un personaggio separato da lui. Uh -huh. no. Okay, okay. Miss Jana, you're also an actress as well. You know, starting out, that's my second career. Okay, second so act. so were you performing also in Italy as a young person, or did you start once you got here in the states? No, no. They, they, in fact, I grew up in the in the in the U.S. Okay, a, a few plays here and there, you know, along the way. But they um, just recently getting into doing the film. You know, I love I love film better than theater because the film. You can do it over and over again until you get it right. Right. <laughs> I know you do it on stage. I mean, that's it. I mean, you can do it differently the next time, but it's still, that's it. It's not, I'm going back to change that. No. <laughs> Mr. Chiro, he's an actor. He's a singer. He's a dancer. He's a magician. Yeah. You've done a lot of so many different things. What out of all those skills, would you say, um, is your, what do you enjoy most? What do you think is the most important thing for you? I like to change myself, to do always new things. I have tried to study, I have studied the piano, I have studied magic, I have studied things, to do always new things, and the theater is the most beautiful thing. He's always trying to renew himself uh -huh. and to learn new things and do new things. And uh, even recently, he went to piano. He studied at the conservatory in Naples, piano, but recently taking up working on the sax. And he just, uh, but the, his, his passion really is acting theater. Acting you know, theater, that's acting. his passion. And that was going to be my next question. Which one is more, which one are you more passionate about? Can you tell me about one of your favorite, um, let's say one of your favorite roles? Il ruolo preferito. Il ruolo preferito, il ruolo preferito è il Pulcinella, il, il comico, il brillante. No, Pulcinella is the comedic like character that represents Naples. Okay. And it's kind of always like, the, the uh, comedic arte, they're really scripts, they're just kind of like guidelines. And a, a lot of times they went along with the idea that, um, 
you know, put Chanel below, was trying to get the girl, and, you know, in the end, he would end up, but he was always kind of, like, uh, tweaking the authority, you know, authority figures, uh -huh. and uh -huh. kind of, and he's, the, um, the white hat, the white costumes, because he got flour all of himself, and he likes to eat, he's very sensual, the whole Neapolitan, mm -hmm. Neapolitan thing, and so he's done that at, you know, in many different, like, in Milan, um, in a production with Don Giovanni, and, brought it to the uh, U.S. for a lot of the San Gennaro festivals, like in the parade, you know, walking down the street in Hollywood. Oh, okay. yeah. You know. You have brought Italy to the States via your singing tours. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I want to go back to Italia. Oh, yeah. Sono in Italy. Sì. E beh, io ho giro il mondo, sono stato in Australia, sono stato in Canada, eh, Stati Uniti un po' dappertutto, Boston, Chicago, New York, eh, Europa, everybody. Everywhere. Yeah. No, he's, he's brought a lot, of different, um, a lot of different singers, Italian singers, a lot of Neapolitan singers. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, to the, and always, you know, usually like at the festivals has the Puccinella costume. On and doing the um, sometimes I'm Colombina, who's the girlfriend of Puccinella. Okay, so so he's bringing Italian singers out to these different states. Correct. Or, okay, mm -hmm. awesome. That is awesome. That is awesome. So, um, you gonna sing for me today? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'd love okay. to hear it. Yeah. And I'm sure our audience will as well. Right. Okay. Tu fall americano. Their signature Neapolitan song. What's the name of it? To Buffa America. Okay. You want to be an American. Okay. There are many different films. Wish can solve the rock and roll. Wish can solve the rock and roll. Do we fall America? Do we fall America? Oh, yes! Wonderful! Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was awesome. Yeah. That's a song that opens, often opens festivals with. I can see why. I can see myself two step into that. <laughs> we were actually at a, at a swing play, doing some swing dancing. Uh huh. And when my teacher found out that he was Italian, he said, Oh, there's this really good swing song. It's something like American or something. So get on my phone, pull it up, a video with him singing it. Mr. Giro, you've been doing theater for over 40 some years. And congratulations, I, you've won the Lifetime Achievement Award. Thank you very That's much. That's amazing. Thank you. That's amazing. I love the way she watches you <laughs> when you're performing. I probably is it new each time you see him? It's enjoyable each time. I'm it's sure it is. is. I enjoy it. I mean, I didn't know anything about Italian songs really before I met him, but I know a lot now. Listen to him. That was time so good. Where can our audience find you? We have a, a Facebook page, Italian Calendar Arizona. Facebook, Italian Calendar Arizona. Yeah. And Chio does a program, a radio program every Sunday morning, okay. 10 to 11. And you can get that online anywhere in the world. Okay. 10 to 11 Arizona time, and it's kwss.org. Wonderful. Wonderful. And uh, his website is uh, Chiro Giorgio. It's C I R O G I O R G I O dot okay. com. And we will have that on our page. Thank you both for joining us. It was such a pleasure. Thank you. I pleasure. love the you. song. Oh, thank I you. I loved thank it. You. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us today on Desert Wood Days, and we will see you next time. <laughs>